Based on the findings of psychology study, people derive their utility, in other words, happiness, not from absolute pay, but rather from relative uh, uh, pays. So the implication of my study is uh, it is important for corporate to balance both executive compensation and relative pay because both are important uh, to the corporate performance. In the modern uh, corporations, there are serious agency problems. In other words, there are conflict interests between uh, senior executive and shareholders. Because in the reality, uh, the real owner of the corporation should be the shareholders. But actually, uh, who runs the daily operation of corporate is the senior executive. There are serious uh, conflict interests between these two groups of people. Sometimes uh, the senior executive uh, put their personal interests uh, ahead or above the interest of shareholders. So in order to resolve these issues, uh, one way is to give them incentive. But the, the the salaries of average uh, work uh, at the front line did not increase uh, at the same pace of the senior executives. So that's why the income disparities between these two groups, senior executive and the average worker, wider and wider. The higher pay for executive without reciprocal uh, 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 pace of increase for the average uh, work salary, it will make the work feel alienated. Okay, so the resentment will cause uh, low efficiencies, okay? and a low efficiency will lead to poor corporate performance or productivities. In my paper, I p partition my sample into two groups based on ownership. One is uh, owned by state, the other is owned by private. So they more likely Western uh, uh, market-based uh, 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 corporations. So what I find is the workers at the state-owned enterprises, they are more sensitive uh, to the pay disparities because they are used to the so-called uh, agoritarian uh, uh, pace and, and the social uh, or socialist principles because uh, they, I assume they, they are always work at state-owned sectors so they, they are used to this kind of cultures uh, but uh, I also find that the, the workers at the private sectors okay uh, their tolerance on the uh, pay disparity is higher than their counterparties at state-owned enterprises uh, it doesn't matter if it's, it's, a, it's a, a China or the other countries, uh, and uh, even in the United States, okay, uh, people have a similar resentment okay, against the, the, the widening uh, pay disparity. So that's why there's uh, occupying uh, Wall Street uh, campaigns. This is the result to, uh, to reflect people's resentment okay, uh, towards the Wall Street bonus cultures. The current pay disparity in China is relatively low comparing to the average pay disparity in the United States. For example, uh, the current uh, uh, pay disparity in the United States is about 400 times. Uh, in, in my samples, okay, uh, the average pay disparity is only six times. So uh, definitely the, the current pay disparity in China is lower comparing with, with those well-developed capital market. This is cross-sectional. Over time, uh, like in seven days, okay, uh, the, the pay disparity in the United States is the double digit, as around 40, uh, 50s. Okay? So over time, the, the pay disparity increases 10 times more because the executive pays increase significantly. However, uh, the pay of average worker uh, grow a little bit, okay, but not that much. Okay? So that's why the, the, the gap becomes wider and wider. Uh, but in China, okay, for example, 10 years ago, uh, the pay disparity may be only two. Okay? Now it is six.
so increased by 300 percent so in that in that skills okay so we have to look at over time uh, I will guess the the tendency uh, in China uh, will keep uh, increases okay but however in the US or in the Europe uh, some government pass uh, regulations uh, also called uh, you have to vote on pay proposals in other words uh, whenever there's a uh, uh, issues related to the exact conversation have to vote by the uh, the shareholders meeting is not just deter uh, determined by the uh, board of directors so I, I my guess will be in the near futures uh, the pay disparity in the US will will stabilize stabilized okay because due to the regulations but however um, the pay disparity in China will keep moving up. There's a regulation on state-owned enterprises. Uh, for example, uh, like in uh, 2006, uh, the, uh, the Chinese government imposed uh, uh, 12 times uh, a cap between the executive pays and the uh, average workers. But uh, I'm not sure uh, how effective for the government to enforce. So this, for the senior executive, they always find a way to get around those regulations. For example, they can uh, receive a very small amount of uh, monetary payment, okay? Uh, but they will receive lots of uh, uh, perks, okay?